this almost looks like it's a fake tree, but it's a rhododendron. They come in pink, coral, white, orange. orange, and they just are everywhere. And they even have rhododendron parades, azalea festival, cranberry festival, all up and down the coast here. And as you see, there's uh, palm trees here too. But I'm sure they planted the palm trees. They're not native here, are they, do you think? I don't know. Now they've let always Carolyn been here. take the phone and film while we get in there. And then this is a park, so here's a playground over here. And they had one when our kids were little. This is the town my kids grew up in. And it was a nice one, but now look at it, it's even nicer. They would want to come back and play on it as adults. This is called Azalea Park. It's just a day park. And at Christmas time, they put lights down here and you walk, have a walking tour. And the flowering trees, there's rhododendrons over there. There's a faded pink one. And another, not, not as bright a red. But when we went to Hawaii, I wasn't that impressed because it just looked like Brookings to me. And Brookings is inland from the coast. Crescent City sticks out and Brookings is inland. So it gets better weather than some of the Oregon coastal towns. But don't move here because it's very crowded because everybody found out when they built the Pelican Bay prison in Crescent City, most of them work here because there's no sales tax in Brookings and they can buy everything without a sales tax or they come up here and shop it's better weather, they it's, they live. It's better weather here than crescent city california because that sticks out and it's a dive down whereas brookings is beautiful it has new buildings and we're each going to take our picture in front of this tree and jamie can't wait <laughs> You and me. And I know, but right now I'm videoing, so I don't want a video of us standing in front of the tree. Why not? Uh, the video is moving, not standing. And how are we going to put that in our album? <laughs> <laughs> he always has a different plan than I do. Sometimes he wins, but this time he's not. Mostly, I just don't know what she did. That tree over there. Uh huh. Can what do you I can zoom in. It's a tulip tree. A tulip tree. It looks like tree. giant. Her daughter lives over here in this complex. And there's a pink, what, what are those pink ones right over there? Those are azaleas. azaleas. But, they, but they cut them and they still bloom. And they're flowering bushes, yeah. if you don't know. Anyway, if you, this town is what zone? Jamie, what zone is this? Zone eight and nine. So the flowers bloom. I had geraniums blooming all year round. This, call, our city's nickname is called the City of Winter Flowers because we'll have roses blooming on the, Christmas yeah. Day. They and call this area in Brookings the Banana Belt very good, of James. Oregon. Well, because we have the mildest weather because we're in a cove right. from the ocean. We're in a cove so we don't get the really cold weather. We and at when our children were little, mm -hmm. it would be foggy in town. But if you just go up this river, what river is it? Uh, Chetco River. There was Loeb Park, and it was always beautiful in the sun. If we it was, go up there. we should. We'll drive up to check on the show. And so our kids grew up not at the beach, but at Loeb Park, because yeah, they the could river. swim on the river, and you could camp up there. Whereas all the tourists went to the beach. And it's cold. It's, it's not the like wind. The, the, yeah, and the, the water. It gets cold water year round. You, I mean, people go in it, but you're yeah. cold. <laughs> Plus, then you bring sand home. I know. To, and in our washers, in our cars, we and everything. We didn't enjoy the sand. 
and so the beaches here. yeah we took tourist friends yeah. visiting but we would always go up to Loeb where the they had a rocky beach but then it was wonderful yeah. you didn't bring sand home ruin your washers so. yeah so we liked and my kids that's we clean the house real fast and we'll drive up to Loeb yeah it was a reward <laughs> and we I learned to eat lunch before we went so we didn't have to drag all that yeah. up there just take snacks but we still wanted to eat though yeah and we wanted to camp but the campgrounds fill up fast there well, now you can't even get, get in, in anymore they're they didn't used to reserve they book ahead it was first come first serve uh -huh. and now since it's a state park you have to um like six months to a year ahead yeah they're booked so you can't okay. get in okay you can't see very good without here we'll get closer but the houses are starting to build clear up the mountains now they used to not when we first moved here yeah, i'll show you later when we get yeah. closer to them they are filled up now yeah they're the mountains the they've the i don't know why you can't see any there and i don't know but they're more open. yeah they want the view probably but it used to be when we moved here what year did we mom and dad move here 74 when Chad was a baby and then we both moved here too we moved here in 75 and both our sisters and our brother we've all lived here at times we all want to you got to make a living. And there's no rentals. And you have to buy a house. Yeah. And the market's awful now. So. Yeah, you can't find a place. If... And now I noticed they camping by the beach, those pullouts. You never used to spend the night there. Well, you're not supposed to, Aunt. Those and are no man homeless people. I know. And they, you can tell they're well, permanent. Don't they're, they get kicked out? It's such a political thing now that they nobody will say anything. In the middle of the night, a, knock a state the trooper would come and knock on your door and say, you can't park here, you need to move. That's what, what if you said the other people are? I don't know how they know. You're not a homeless person, uh -huh. too, but you don't get to do it. But now, there's do. camping places down at the beach and Harris Beach and stuff, but you, it's a cost of You fortune. can't ever get into I mean, you go yeah. down there right now, They're it'll full. say full. Every day they say full. How so, much does it cost a month? Um, right? but you can't do it by the month. Uh -huh. So, I, I don't probably 60 bucks a night now yeah and they have like up at Loeb and stuff the campgrounds they have a limit how many days you can 14 stay, days and then you got to move well, I think if you but see it's a state park now so you have to get online and uh, you reserve it pay in advance and so people on January 1st book the entire year us local people can no longer get camp, up, camp up, up, there. up there what about little redwoods little redwoods I think you can you can it park down. It, it burned oh, up. Oh, that's right. We the had fire. that terrible forest fire, and it burned up. It's but not pleasant. There are three places upriver where you can drive down to the river bar and camp. Uh huh. But locals. You've got some. Know. Yeah, and you've got some homeless people living there too. They just did a cleanup. How many? They found I don't know how many cars that people had taken up there and dumped Abandoned. off. Abandoned. Oh. And then there was a group of people in town decided they were going to go clean the river bar up. So they got everybody together. It was even a rainy day. And how 
how many uh, thousands oh, oh. and thousands of pounds of, of trash they picked up off the river. Wow. Corn. Thousands of pounds. And it cost a lot, so we all had to chip in and pay for that. But Homeless people. By the end of summer, it'll be all back. But we have camped up there on the river bar. It's very fun. But years ago, it was so different. Yeah. Well, what if you went to Bandon and Port Orford where they're littler? Do you think it's like old time here? But Bandon, you don't get the good weather. Bandon has um, been able to market their tourists at tourism better than Brookings has. Oh, okay. We we have some tourism. Of course, people come here all the time because we have a beautiful town, but we haven't figured out how to get people to just come. You know, we have um, limited restaurants aren't good here. Yeah. You know, you've got, so we got a couple of fast food places, but the big, nice restaurants, we don't have. Well, in Gold like Beach, Like a steakhouse or something. Ugly. Yeah, but Gold Beach is our our county center. So the courthouse is right. there. I all showed the court, them. All the offices of the of our county. But it are hasn't there. grown like here. No, but there isn't any. There isn't any industry. Their industry is fishing. Yeah. Because the Rogue River's there. And that's too far the from River the prison. Rogue River is very famous. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it wouldn't be hard to. Um, is land a lot there? Oh, it's the same as here. Yeah. You know, I mean, Expensive. it's just skyrocketed. Yeah. A house that used to cost 120000 and it's just a little ranch-style building, yeah. a 50s one house, uh -huh. one bath, three bedroom. It's probably close to $300,000 now. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, and Hell yard. I can show you the house that is the cheapest in town, and you, you would have to pull it out. You couldn't live in it. Yeah. And it's over 200000 so it's you know there's nothing here and there's no land no no and there's not much building anymore because of what's happening well and you have to pay so much for permits to build and everything yeah. too your just, water it's a, you know like a water permits five thousand dollars and i mean you, you just get outpriced to, to do it if you, you have know, to have a the lot. thing is we're 15 minutes from the california border so we're the last town before you hit California on the coast, Oregon coast. So a lot of people from California that want to get out of their politics and their, their inflation and all this stuff that's happening to California, they sell their home that they probably bought when they were, you know, maybe in their forties mm -hmm. and they bought it for $300,000. It's now 1.5 million. Wouldn't you sell your home? Yeah. And, and they go to another place that you could, Look, the man. This is very typical. We're talking. They get in the car. My grandpa used to do it to grandma. And start up like we're, we're ready. <laughs> and we didn't even get our picture by the tree yet. We got. I'm. De <laughs> she's the county commissioner. <laughs> we're giving them a tutorial about I'm why you about shouldn't the move area. here. Exactly. But why you want to move here, but why you can't you really move here. want to move here because it's wonderful. We have rivers, mountains. We have the uh -huh. best fishing. You have you ocean can, fishing, ocean river fishing, fishing, river fishing, and the weather. We barely ever get a snow. If it's snow, it is so exciting. Yeah, and then but you, love it, you don't get a frost, so you're, you're you don't lose your yeah, plants. You, once you can in a put while, your plants. But, you don't have to take them in like Angie has to take her plants yeah, in. Cover we don't. Them. I've got petunias blooming right now that should have been dead. They look dead, but there's a petunia on them. So it's because of the mild weather. So uh -huh. yeah, it's great here, but it's sad because. Our services, so you know, the people that want to be waitresses or you know, work in the food industry, they don't there's make enough. no place to live. They don't make enough, they yeah. don't make enough, and there's no, there's like no Jackson rentals. Hall. There's they have no, to, yeah, they have to leave. I heard a lady that went, got a job at Goodwill and she was so excited Loved to get it. this job, you know, because it was what she her line. she was excited to get a job. And then I heard her say, I gotta move because I cannot, I'm living in my car. Mm. I can't find a, a rental and so they and none of the people here will rent to anybody with animals they oh. just won't so if you have a cat or a dog it doesn't even matter you're willing to pay a thousand dollar deposit they won't rent to you why they got stung they well because yeah they've got I mean you know I, we had the same thing we rented to somebody that they said they had two outside dogs and they didn't and they yeah. put them in the house and they, they completely lied. destroyed a bedroom they that the door looked like fur they had jumped on it and just clawed and so would I ever rent to anybody with a dog again even though I'm a dog lover and love them no. and cats no. stink yeah. so bad yeah so you know that's part of the problem so people won't do it even if they're animal lovers so it's just hard and you know, the little bit of apartments that we have, 
they don't um they came. the ch cheapest apartment here even an old apartment is probably thirteen hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars just it's for nothing. an old apartment yeah. you know we have a lot of seniors here and part of the problem with brookings is we don't have a hospital we now have an urgent care and an emergency room but our nearest hospitals are 30 miles away. on each side yeah so and they're not that wonderful either. you usually have to go to grants pass or medford yeah. medford usually uh, my motto is if i have two hours to live i'm going to drive to the nearest medford, big yeah. town because i'm not going to either one of those hospitals yeah so it's just really sad but a lot of older people they will move here because it's so beautiful and they and they don't have any family here but their family lives all over the place. They, they moved visit. away from their yeah. Oh, you know, like people my age, they move here because it's so beautiful. It's not cold and it's so fun. And then they go age, walking on the beach. Yes. And, and this is a beautiful park to walk. Yeah. So you go walking, you do all these fun things and you start aging and then your health starts falling apart. And then there's no hospitals and we barely have any doctors. It's like one doctor you can't has 5,000 patients, yeah. you know. And they don't know you from the one time to the next when you go in. They don't know who or you are. Or they're not taking new patients. No, they won't. Most of the doctors aren't taking any new uh -huh. patients. So then here you got this older couple with no family here. Nobody take care of them. They got to sell their home. Somebody has to come pack them up. They got to go move them by the kids. Uh -huh. Well, that's where we get most of our Vacate. houses for sale. Yeah, their vacancies. Now, half of this town now, and including Gold Beach, are now Airbnbs, which has really hurt uh, our for towns. the rentals yeah there's no places for the the locals to live because they, they make turned more. it into they make way and more you have money clean, for an airbnb clean people that are you get two or three hundred dollars a night they don't destroy it you no. know and and if they do you keep their money right there you have their so credit card there's <laughs> probably 60 or more airbnbs in this town alone and you couldn't afford those a month oh no so no. that's you can't so they're trying to limit the county decided that we've got to put a you know a Cap. ceiling on uh -huh. this or something so everybody was running to hurry and get theirs listed because for a while nobody even knew where they were there wasn't any like you didn't have to have a permit or anything you just uh, you know advertise you just like move out of your house and rent it you're making uh -huh. more money go live in a tent for a while or yeah, something camp i mean i don't know camp <laughs> i know in alaska my son-in-law son or my daughter lives up there and that's a little town he had to work out in the bush and people in that town didn't even have running water or anything but they would move out of their house and live in a tent in their yard yeah. because they could make money renting to people that needed a house we even have somebody in afton who does that, that. do that in the summer yeah. they rent their house you out could see why camping. they would do it yeah. but, I don't think it'd be but you'd have to have your house nothing in it you care about well that's move true. out practically you do you do a anyway. minimum be a minimalist yeah so i we guess love i it guess here. you and i are gonna have to get it in the tree and take selfies and take our pictures <laughs> alone take selfies. let's do it and see what they do <laughs> all right all right we'll let's land. do it